pick whatever bookmark you want for my rack and then you get this to both of them for $26. I went live for the first time on TikTok and when I was on there, the only thing you think about is how do I get off of here? <laughs> Let me off of here. Ask the bride if she wants to keep her tissue paper because I feel like she's not gonna want to. You can come home with a whole note. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. It's Saturday. When is my next show? Oh, I did end up getting accepted into the next Oxford show, which I think I'm accepted into all of them because the email made it sound like I'm in all three, which is great because like I said, the third one I think is going to kill. Um, I am just getting back from a baby shower and spoiler, if you ever go to baby showers, birthday parties, uh, what else are there? Bridal showers and ask the bride if she wants to keep her tissue paper because I feel like she's not going to want to. Um, you can come home with a whole load. <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm going to take that since a lot of it's like crinkled. Um, it's going to be my market tissue paper I put in the bags because I just think it looks really cute when I'm like handing someone their little baggie and then I put tissue paper in it. And the one that, oh, it hasn't shown up, so I won't say anything yet. But um, my packaging for online orders is going to be a tid bit different soon. I think it's still going to have tissue paper in it. I haven't quite decided. We'll see. I need to wait until it comes in so I can kind of gauge what I need. But um, anyways, sometimes I just turn the camera on, even if I don't want to, if I get kind of dressed up. And this is dressed up for me. Um, just to show you guys, I don't always look like a slob. See, and this is why you need to get yourself a rolly chair because who doesn't want to just spin around all day? Um, what we're doing right now, I need to go outside and prime and obviously I can't prime in this. So that's why I turned the camera on now before I change into my slob clothes again. Um, I just got out a team order from outside. Let's see. I have not looked at it yet, but I did just open it. Um, oh yes. Okay. So fun fact. Um, I am not the most, I am organized, but in a disorganized way. Um, and so I have things. So all my bookmarks, I have all the supplies for each bookmark in a big baggie. So for example, this is the worst example. Just kidding. Um, for example, hold on. Hold on. Okay, yes, perfect. Uh, all of my pink strawberry bookmarks, all the main supplies, like the charms and the connected, like supplies that I don't have for other bookmarks, I keep in one bag. So whenever I'm making a batch of strawberry bookmarks, I have to pull this bag out because it has my strawberries and my connectors and my leaves in it. Um, the first bag I pulled out, this actually is my old charm bag. So it has a ton of charms in it. Remember when I had the charm bar? A ton of charms. I am going to use these. Obviously I still have them. I just am going to repurpose them into um, other things once I figure out what I want to do with them. Actually, ooh, let me take that out. I smell some new Stanley charms coming with these guys. I'm going to leave that out. Um, but anyways, so I have a bag. And so um, I had my on my bookmark rack, everything on the side are my extras. So like everything in the front, I try to keep 10 or less. So I try to keep 10, 10's my number, I told you guys this. I try to keep 10 in stock bookmarks at all times. So if for some reason something pops off overnight in a video, I have at least 10 already made ready to ship, okay? Um, and same for markets, I have 10 made. If you ruin my tissue paper, I will not be happy. Get down, down, we're done, you're done, you're out, out. Well, that was chaotic. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Orange Kitty was getting into my, some of my tissue paper is like cellophane, is that how you say it? That like plastic tissue paper? And he loves plastic and he was chewing on it and then he knocked over 
he actually thankfully my foot was there he knocked over my little cup holder um onto my toes it did not break because it landed on my foot um so as much as it's still hurting right now my foot that is safe um but what i was saying in a very long way is that my gummy bear charms i needed to make no my flower um bookmarks cute little flower guys i need to make more of because i don't have any extras of them and so that means that signals for me if i don't have any extras i need to make them um especially with all the markets coming up so i got my little flower uh bag out and i was like oh my gosh i don't have any of my connectors for it so i couldn't make any and so i ordered a bunch which is why i have this timu order um but then last week when i was moving some things around I found like five bags of them in my extras bag um, that I had accidentally put in there. And so now we have like way more connectors than charms. And so either I need to order more charms to keep up with it or find a new purpose for the connectors. So that's a later Brittany decision that we can deal with. So anyways, I have a lot of these. Oh yeah, and then a couple of my... I don't know who the brand is, but um, I love these, st I'm gonna call them sticks. They're my eye pens. Um, this, they're so, so sturdy and I love them and they're always out of stock now. And so whenever something comes in stock, I order, even if it's not the right size because I love them so much. I'm like, I can find new things to use for them. And so I found a lot in this size. I'm um, sorry, I came back from the baby shower and we had tacos and now I'm just like really burpy. Um, I don't need this size, but I will definitely use this size. Sturdy eye pins are hard to come by. You can't, I, you can't find them in Joann's, you can't find them in Michael's. So I don't know, um, you can't find them in Hobby. Actually, I haven't checked Michael's. You can't find them in Hobby Lobby or Joann's for sure. Cause I have both of them in my town and um, they're not in either of them. They suck. They all suck. Um, unless you're getting 18 karat plated. Um, but for like, they overprice them so much. At least in Hobby Lobby, they're 18 karat ones. They give you maybe 10 of them for like $5. I'm like, that's gonna make me like max three bookmarks. And I can't raise my prices anymore. No one wants to buy like a $16 bookmark. Maybe they do, I don't know. Where'd my water go? I really need to do an Ipsy unboxing. And I always am like, this is, it's so easy to do them, but I never do them. And I always wait till like the last minute where it's like, does anyone even wanna watch this at that point? Like if you already probably, if you like watching Ipsy unboxings, you've probably already seen it, but um, unless you just like me and then you wanna watch it, I don't know. But I need to do that. So you're probably gonna see if you watch it, um, I'm gonna be in the same outfit. Um, back to my team order. So I got my connectors, I got a bunch of these. Oh yeah, they had one in stock of my uh, charms for, I need to polish these because they're looking a little, a little rough. My mountains, they had one in stock, but they don't look good. I think this might've been a return. I'm gonna see if that cleans up, otherwise I'm returning those because no, they're not shiny. And then I bought a bunch of, I forgot I had these in my extras bag. I was like, I'm running out of my bookmark uh, sticks. I wasn't, I wasn't. Um, so anyways, lesson learned. My inventory needs to be up the system. Oh, is this? No. Did I order anything else fun? Sure didn't, sure didn't. That was a very boring team order of stuff I didn't need that I saw I needed. Cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, cause I wanna start, I've already started for my Ipsy boxes is to look at it ahead of time and write what the review is, like the how many stars it has. And so um, I can tell you the positives and the negatives on them. So it's like a more thorough review other than just like opening it and being like, the packaging's adorable or this is what feels cheap. Like that's not, 
that's cool, but no. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn you guys off for that though, because again, boring. And if you wanna watch an Ipsy video, it's already up. <laughs> <laughs> because by the time this comes out, this has the Ipsy bag has been out probably for weeks. So I'll see you. Maybe I'll take you guys to Prime. Probably not. That's also boring. See you soon. Tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, um, back. I just did the video for Ipsy and now I need to print off a shipping label. <laughs> Let's do this for an Etsy order. I already did my post office run, but while I was at the baby shower, I got another order which we love. And I don't know why I just did this, um, like and out of my shipping printer. But since it's before five, um, and I don't live that far from the post office, the post office is the only place left that would ship at this point, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just print it and then um drive it over there and then go out to work <laughs> so let's do that right now oh i'm out of breath okay go to my etsy app billy dale that sounds southern from iowa hmm. they bought a strawberry bookmark so let's create that label Normally don't have my machine in my lap, but we're here. I could use, yeah, let's go ahead and use one of our new <laughs> used tissue papers from the baby shower. No, no one wants cat hair. Thank you. Well, my bottom piece is gonna remain uh, my normal because the size just fits it, and the like normal pieces of tissue paper, they do not. Okay. I have so many extras right now made of these, which is great. I think I have like 20 over here. I think I have 30 total made. But because remember that one time I sold like in a day and a half, like a hundred of them. <sighs> and now we'll use this tissue paper. I don't know, that actually looks kind of messy. I don't think I prefer this. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a little corgi and we'll do a tree. Those are the stickers for this one. Double time. Okay, good to go. I'm gonna head out. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next clip video. Welcome back. I'm only gonna pop on here because I just did a packing video and you saw me pack up, I don't know how many. I had just a random surge of seven orders last night. <laughs> so, love that for me. <laughs> Cause the day before I had zero. It's just weird. It, it has no like rhythm to how many orders like I'm gonna get at a given time. 
Um, so when we get one, even one, it's just like, thank you. Uh, we have one going to Tania in New England. No, Nebraska. Nebraska. Oh, I did a Nebraska packing order because it was a state I had not been to. Or, I mean, I haven't been to it, but like packed there before. So I think we are only down to like five left. It's Alaska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Delaware. But I'm positive I had a Delaware order and I just forgot to pack it on film. And like, I just didn't realize it. So we're going to still count that Delaware. And then Idaho. Um which is weird. I used to live like an hour away from the Idaho border. It's just those states that don't have like a lot of population. Those are the ones we have not shipped to yet. Um, Layla in North Carolina. I almost showed you her package. Uh, Marley in Iowa. Yes, Iowa. At first I was like, is that Idaho? No. Chloe in Texas on Etsy ordered four different things. Three bookmarks and one Stanley Charm and so I'm like I feel like I have to do a packing video for her more than just like me putting it on YouTube and so she's packed on both. We have Jasmine in Colorado who I think Jasmine got two or three bookmarks. Chloe from Michigan got something. I've, I had two Chloe's back to back. I'm like is that the same one? And then um, Elizabeth and Georgia got something. So thank you if any of you are on here. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I um, have to go paint right now though, which is why I'm in like not so cute wear. Um, so I'll see you hopefully in a cuter outfit in the next uh, clip. <laughs> Bye. I don't know what's happening, but we're getting a lot of orders today. Like, I keep looking at my phone and I get a new order on, like, both TikTok and Etsy. And yesterday was like that, too, because I popped on here and I was like, we randomly got, like, seven orders. And now we randomly have, like, five within, like, two hours. So, I don't know what's happening. I love it. Um, Melissa, you're a share and save. I'm almost positive you're from YouTube. So, thank you so much. Um, I think she was the only share and save I had, but everyone's getting my Akatar uh, Night Court bookmarks, except for Melissa. Melissa did not. She got the Flower Garden and then my, um, like, Pink Strawberry, like the original one. So, anywho, we're finishing off printing and then I'm gonna just, like, hop these over to the post office. I just dropped off, like, three this morning. I normally only do one drop off a day, but like, might as well do another one. Because again, everyone's so like strict on their shipping. Like I can get it out within two minutes and I'll still get docked points for like USPS not getting it out, you know? Haley from Kentucky, I'm packing her order right now. She got a, a Night Court bookmark. Everyone but Melissa got a Night Court bookmark. It's I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I love that bookmark, but it, I think the video, I want to say I was on TikTok last night and like one of my videos on that had like an extra 10,000 views or 5,000 views added to it. And like, I feel like statistically I get about an order every thousand views if like a video does well. That's not a science though, that number I just threw out there. Um, also, we went into TJ Maxx after the gym um, today, and I'm uh, pretty bitter about this. So I worked at the high school um, years back that my husband grew up at. Um, I'm not from around here, um, but he is. And I worked with this man for three years, and we walked into... Um, TJ Maxx and he like totally did not acknowledge my existence but my husband's he was like oh man you're looking like jacked or whatever um and like just said hi to him for and I was like right next to him like do you, do I do I not look like I used to is that the problem here like what <laughs> do I look that bad where you're just like that's not, I have no idea who that is. Um, because I know for a fact, it's not that I look better than I did. <laughs> so yeah, I'm bitter over here. Um, no joke, immediately went to the bathroom and like fixed my hair a little bit. And I was like, ugh. Um, yeah, my husband was like, and he was trying to cheer me up. He was, I was not, I like, it's not a big deal. I actually didn't even bring it up more than twice. 
But he was like, it's probably, maybe his wife doesn't like him talking to other women because his wife was like checking out. And I was like, sure, sure, that that's it. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys right now. I need to get these to the post office. I'm already gonna miss the, the window. <laughs> okay, I'm heading out. My eye has been swollen for two days now. It's this one. Actually, this is really good. I just put ice on it. Um, I've been doing a lot of heat um, compresses and compress. Heat compress? Putting heat on it. Um, we have been, obviously we've been painting and I had a swollen eye from paint chips getting in it like maybe three weeks ago. And um, now yesterday, we actually two days ago, it's been swollen for two days. We were cutting down some of our plants in the yard to put the ladder up to paint, um, and some debris got in my eye. And I was wearing safety goggles. I was, I promise. Um, and it still made its way in. And so we're dealing with that. Um, I look real cute, but we have orders. We have been selling a lot the last like maybe five days. We've been doing probably like five six orders a day it's been great i'm so happy um especially with like i'm gonna be starting to slow down with markets here soon i was just looking at my calendar i think i only have like seven eight markets left and that sounds like a lot but it's not because it's spread out through <laughs> october <laughs> oh bye bean <laughs> i've been coming in here for like I think four times now to like get my orders packed and um I keep getting distracted whether it's Asher myself I don't think Randy's distracted me um but anyways what I was saying is that I only have eight markets left and so I'm really needing to focus for like the win because I'm gonna be working I need I've been like making bookmarks maybe like five-ish a day I've been like really relaxed on my 10 because my hand has been hurting um but I'm not going to have a ton of time to do all this stuff. And so, like, I can't sign up for more markets, especially when I'm doing well with online orders. I think the last eight will be good until we roll around in the spring again. So, as long as the online sales keep going. But but I'll be having income from counseling, so I won't be as stressed to get stuff, like, out of here. I do like markets though. I am excited for the next market season, like starting 2025, because it'll only be the markets that I love. And really that's like Oxford markets, <laughs> probably mustard seed markets. I don't know if I would do a spring one just because it'll be during, um, like, I think the spring one, actually that's May. I, it would just depend on the days because it's hard like in May when you're in the school year and that's like very like busy crunch time but i don't know how it is in elementary as much we're dealing with like ieps and 504 so um may is pretty busy i don't have much experience with mays and elementaries because the last time i was in elementary mid-may it was like may 14th was my last day although the kids last day was literally the next week so i think i got most of it but i didn't have to do anything with um, IEPs, 504s, etc. So it's just going to be different. And I don't know what, um, because I don't know how different it's going to be. I don't really want to sign up for any spring markets unless it's like a, like a Saturday, like a one day market. Okay. So for orders today on TikTok, so I've been getting a lot of Etsy orders. I truly think that it's because they've been putting me on like one of their top spots maybe because i'm a star seller i do notice because i'm a star seller i've been the last two months um i've noticed more traffic for sure i think that they have me higher up in the um seo like searching and so that has been helpful i've heard some people be like it doesn't matter if you're a star seller i do i feel like it does help me <laughs> our tiktok order first this is for layla in north carolina layla bought a lot of bookmarks 
she bought four and she excuse me she bought one that no one has ever bought before um purchased and i will add a show not including show purchases i sell at shows like everything pretty much but online not the case so let's see we're gonna do two bookmarks per bookmark tab i'll show you which one she's got okay so lila ordered i'm looking at my i love putting the packing like sheet right inside First thing, green metallic dog bookmark. No one online has ever bought this. I actually had, I think two or three of the blue ones. First time ever they sold last week. But it's time for the green to shine. So I have him and I have my floral cat, which honestly, like kitties do pretty well. I need to restock my cats because I think I am sold out on all my sides of all my cats, except for, um, I might have one left on TikTok of the, I don't know why he's not laying. Why are you not laying? Okay, yeah, no, he's good. <laughs> Wanted to make sure he was on correctly. He is. <laughs> I want to say I only have one in stock left of the floral one. Well, yes, I do because I literally only have one left and I don't have any extras. So, um, it, for some reason, it's still, it's, it won't be. You know what? It will not be in stock by the time this is up next friday my market in oxford again and this time it's book themed and so you know there's going to be so many kids there because the library is kind of like sponsoring a little bit so me a lot of kids there getting books and be like mom dad i want a bookmark you know what i mean um i think i'll do a special deal on my bookmarks on next friday too i might do them for like 12 dollars like a one day special um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but my bookmarks are going to go up $1 um, starting, I think, after that market is when I'm going to do the price increase. Um, just because logistically, with like the packing stuff that I have, um, it needs to go up a dollar. It does. I'm not like making a huge profit zone on these, but um, I think I'm going to make up because they're 14 now. I might do like $14.99. I think that's what... I will do. I don't know for market soaps. No one's wanna do like 99. I'm not gonna have a lot of pennies. I might do them $15 at markets, make it an even number. And then she ordered my little Sophie Cherry bookmark. I just made the most adorable Stanley charms out of this little bead here. And it, it replicates the bookmark, but in a tiny little Stanley charm. It's in my living room. Um, I will end up showing that to you like in this video. It's so freaking cute. It's my new favorite Stanley charm. I don't like picking favorites, but that is my favorite Stanley charm. And then lastly, she got the gummy bear beaded bookmark, which is probably like my second favorite bookmark that I have. And for some reason, she doesn't sell a lot online. She sells in person though. So I don't know if it's just like my photos. Um, I did notice, so like TikTok had a, um, they do little like missions. And so I try to do them because when you complete a mission on TikTok, you get coupons for your um, customers buying. They're just like coupons at TikTok funds. And it was like update three of your listings to like professional quality grade like photos and I had some from um, my mustard seed market because they had someone going around and doing like trades for professional photos and so I gave her bookmarks and she gave me photos back so I added them I've been getting a lot more sales from that so I think TikTok has been like boosting me in their little SEO algorithm too but anywho this is uh, my gummy bear bookmark you guys probably seen it a million times she's so cute um totally did not realize I was making this like Christmas looking. I don't love that. I'm gonna switch these over to a different I can't because I have the packing list on it. Um, cool. She's just gonna get a Christmas themed box. No big deal. I don't think she'll care, but like I care about that. We were supposed to go to the zoo yesterday. Um, but then I woke up with a swollen eye. I'm like, I don't really want to go to the zoo. I'm like, I'm it's just like you wanna feel good when you're going, especially with like it's like 
three hours total of driving. I'm like, uh, just not feeling it. And then we're gonna go today, but I'm like, I don't really, I still don't wanna go to the zoo with <laughs> Sula and I, um, even though it's, it's a little better for sure. Uh, so I think we're gonna go next week, but then I'm like, oh, it's gonna be like 90 degrees. So we'll see if we end up going to the zoo or not. I just wait till fall. It's like one of those things where you buy tickets, but like you can use them anytime during the season. Ooh, I think, is this a Curse of L? Perfect, her name's Layla, we're gonna give her this. I thought I was gonna have to put um, these four in a different box, but actually that fits perfectly fine. So I think I can pretty much fit up to like five bookmarks in my boxes that I use, which is awesome. I don't know if I've ever, I think I've had one person buy like eight bookmarks before, <laughs> um, and I did have to use a different box for them. But everyone else has fit in these which is why I love them. I forgot your noise. And then we're gonna do a pack on YouTube because I am talking to you guys right now on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna pack up the other two and then I will circle back to you guys. Okay, I have three done. I already sent off like, I think like four last night. Um, I just walked to the mailbox, even though I knew it was gonna come out. I don't, actually don't know why I do that sometimes, but I know like when I take it to the blue box, like there's specific pickup times and I know for sure it's not gonna be picked up by the time I would do my next round of <laughs> packages there. So I, I truly don't know why I do that to myself. I need to just pick one drop off time a day. I have cat hair in my mouth. Um, and not do any more than that. But like sometimes I'm like, well, what if I don't get ordered? <laughs> no, stop, stop. What is happening? What? <laughs> Malfunctioning camera. Oh my goodness. Okay, what I was trying to say before, I was so rudely interrupted. I ran out of um, <laughs> space on my card, which tells me like I need to stop filming and actually upload something. Um, but I, don't know, I hope I deleted something I have not uploaded yet. We'll find out. Um, I'll find out. You'll never see that. <laughs> uh, what I was saying is that I need to just start doing like one drop off time a day and just like stick to that um, and not stress myself out about dropping it off many times a day. Does that look weird, this ponytail? Anyhow, um, hi, it's the day before the show and when I say I have made such questionable decisions with my time today, I embroidered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sweatshirts. It is um, strange though because I'm not even bringing any of them. So like, why did I decide like, let's embroider today when I'm not bringing those things? Originally in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna bring them, but um, I'm not. I'm gonna wait until next week's market. It's a two day market to launch any of my like fall stuff. Um, and I'm not bringing any of, I didn't even show you guys, oh, I embroidered like 20 something of my, um, sh I'm gonna do it with my book boyfriend sweatshirts on my new like high-end blanks. Um, the way that my machine and I have been just like thriving together has been a blessing. <laughs> um, because normally that's not the case and she has not steered me wrong once in these and so i think we're finally connecting with each other and like understanding one another i'm not liking my hair i'm gonna fix it while i'm talking to you um but anyways um yeah <laughs> i don't know why i made the decision to embroider when really what i needed to do was anything but um because it's still very 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 hot and i'm not like i think i sold three sweatshirts at my last market, which was like two weeks ago. And when I'm taking like, that's half of the stock that I bring 
and it's heavy and it's only a four hour market like why bother bringing much you know so i'm not i'm only gonna bring one of each size of everything i have minus like my new high-end ones i'm not gonna launch again i'm not gonna launch those till next week um in my in-person markets i have the tealy one already launched online um i don't have my salmon one up yet does that look okay it's hard to talk and do my hair. That looks weird. Um, cool. Whatever. Uh, we have, I'm in really slow in orders. I up my prices 99 cents on my bookmarks um, because my shipping cost, running the numbers, just didn't make sense to have them as low as they were. Probably two days there, I had only gotten like one order. So I'm like, oh, is this like 99 cents really gonna hurt me that much? But then today I had like five orders. So I think it's just like, there's, I, there, I don't know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so yeah, we have to pack some orders. We have to pack up the truck. It's just me. I don't get my husband at all the next couple days. And so Asher's supposed to be sleeping. It's his nap time. Um, but as you guys know, he is not. <laughs> so I need to hurry up and get what I need, what like the big stuff, so I can pack it while he's sleeping so then I don't have to worry about like packing it while he's awake. Um, and then I need to run, once he wakes up, this stuff to the blue box. So I can't pack too much where I can't get him in the car because I still need to use his car seat, obviously. Um, it's, I don't know. There's, it's going to be a game um, the rest of the day. <sighs> I do need to... Uh... It, I have more blind date with a book books <laughs> to wrap up and put together uh, I'm excited about these I, I kind of want to keep I had, haven't read these and so like kind of want to keep one of each I'm like well that's dumb because you bought them for this and not for you and like they're new I'm not doing used books with it and uh, maybe someday I would do that but yeah we need to do that and then I have a couple embroidery things I still need to trim and then price because I am taking, I made two of these. You guys have seen them before. It's the Kim, there's people that are dying. I'm going to bring two of them. So I'm trying to use up some of the old Gildan blanks that I don't want to use anymore. And so I will take this, but I'm not taking my Halloween ones. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put you guys on silent while we go through the book wrapping. <laughs> this wrap here they are if you haven't seen these before um i just have it's a brand new hardcover but i do uh pick whatever bookmark you want for my rack and then you get this so both of them for 26 dollars i feel like that's a good deal <laughs> i know a lot of people will just do the book itself for like 30 dollars and to me that's just not worth it um especially because i get these on sale you know i go hunting for them um at like uh different stores so i go to ollie's go to tj maxx go to um if i had a barnes and noble i'd go to the clearance section that would be an amazing place to get them but that's a solid like hour drive if i wanted to do that um so we're not but yeah uh it's basically like it's really not making me any money maybe like four dollars total extra than what it would be just for someone to buy a bookmark you know but it is what it is i think it's fun i like having it in my booth um i did all of them except for one i didn't realize i had bought five <laughs> not five, three of the five star weekend books instead of, I usually do two at a time. And so I bought three of the five star weekends, only one of Hotel Nantucket. And so I meant to get two, but like to my defense, the covers are very similar. <laughs> and so I clearly, cause I had a bunch in my car. I clearly put the wrong ones back. Um, not a huge deal. Doesn't matter. They will probably sell. I don't know if I told you guys this last time. I have two. I think I started with four four at my last market it's the first time i launched them and my two that were i think they were they they weren't hotel nantucket it was 
a different one of um, Hildebrand's books, but um, those two sold like immediately. And then the other two, I, so I look it up on Goodreads and my category, not category, my mindset of like how it works when I'm in a store getting these is that if it pulls up over 4.0 on Goodreads, then I'll get it. Not a problem. Um, over a 4.0 is a, a great book, you know, especially with like thousands of reviews. So I got this book and it sounded so interesting. It was about embryo adoption. And um, if you don't know what that is, it's just like um, you are, if you like take embryos out of like eggs out of a female, um, sometimes people will freeze them because they're like, well, I don't want kids right now. Like wait until later in life. I'm sorry. I'm explaining this. A lot of you already know what it is, but some people don't. Um, and But there's some people where it'll be, um, they freeze them and then they don't end up wanting to use them and then they'll like uh, put them up for adoption like um, or like donate them and that's what the book is about and it's this girl finding out she was um, adopted like her embryo was adopted and yeah so I had that on there but then I didn't read too in depth to like the author and it's a Christian um, romance like mystery and there's nothing wrong with that but um, I ended up putting, I put that on the title because I feel like that's something someone would know if it's like semi-Christian based. And so it did not, that book did not sell last market. Uh, I, I think that's a specific demographic that is going to want that one. Um, so we'll see how it does this market. But these ones I think should do well. So I'm going to put those in my baskets. I have this. Another of the Kim Weird, I need to um, trim it. So let's just talk. I've been watching the Olympics, all the prime time Olympics. Um, a girl at my workout class last night spoiled, <laughs> is it Ledesky's? Is that how you pronounce her last name? Her gold medal in swimming. And I'm like, I was gonna watch that later. Um, a mile swim. Can you even grasp how tired you'd be after that? No wonder these women have just like ripped shoulders you know like they are muscular also i noticed um a common theme in women swimmers is that um your chest is decently flat and so then i'm like maybe i should have done swimming <laughs> maybe i could have been good at swimming <laughs> i don't think that's um actually fact but i'd like to think it is <laughs> And then gymnastics is my, gymnastics and synchronized diving and synchronized swimming are my favorites to watch. I get really mad though, well not really, but like I'll be sitting there and yes, I want the US to win obviously. Uh, like you want your home country to win, unless you hate your home country and then you might be rooting for someone else. Um, but even though I want the US to win, I am still like, rooting for other people I'm not, um, like I don't want to see them get hurt and I don't want to see them uh, like upset you know like that I'm not an empath but I have a lot of empathy for people uh, and my husband on the other hand like so so say like oh poor Brazil like was it two nights ago this poor little girl fell and just split her eye open and I was just horrified for her and she got up and she did the routine again and it was great and she couldn't even look out of the eye. Um, blood, you know, and my husband's like, good, uh, so now the US has a better chance of winning. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, she has trained her entire life for this moment and she just fell and hurt herself. Um, and it's not that he wanted to hurt her, but like his mindset with any of it is like, if someone messes up, um, that just gives us more of an advantage. And my mindset is like, I just hope everyone has fun and, <laughs> um, just like does their best and then, then let the best person win. You know, it's just like, that's probably why I was never good at sports <laughs> because I just did not care enough. Like when I was watching the, the mile swimming <laughs> last night, I was like, I would have tapped out like at 
halfway through when Ledesky was like lapping them. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, like my job is done here and we're clearly not gonna win. So I'm gonna like tap out. The only sport I was like decently good at is tennis. And I can't say I would be good at it anymore. Um, it's just like one of those things where you kind of lose. <laughs> I mean, I know how to play and I'd be okay at being like a casual player, but like competitively, no, I don't think I could do that again. I don't think I could serve again. I used to have a, de a pretty good serve. Um, I just doubt it. I, I guess I could always practice and get that up again. Um, but when I say I was decently good, like I was good, but I wasn't great, you know? <laughs> like I've never been great at anything. So I've also never had the ambition to be great at anything. I don't know, let me know in the comments, like it was there, or is there still something where you're just like, um, I want to be the best at this? Because I was thinking about that. They had on the radio the other day, they were like, um, if you could be an Olympian at anything, like it, literally anything, so like embroidery, you know, something like that, um, what would be, like, what are you the best at? Like, what would you think your competition would be? And I still have no idea what my competition would be talking to myself <laughs> in a room <laughs> by myself. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what it would be. So tell me what would be your Olympic sport? And when you were younger, what was your like dream? Did you have a dream of being an Olympian? What was it? Because I never did. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot to tell you guys. I went live for the first time on TikTok, And so that's something that I have been wanting to do, but also have been dreading doing. And I truly sat here, like let's say you're my camera and like I'm about to press a live button for 20 minutes just staring at myself and the like phone um, like going to hit it and then like backing out. Like that's how terrified I am of going live. And I can just 100% say, I'm still terrified to go live, but I did it, and so I'm still here. <laughs> um, I had seven people, I think maybe eight people, went at the fullest watching. And that, even that, like, I mentioned it when I was live. I was like, I know there's only like seven of you on here right now, but it feels like I'm in a room of a hundred. <laughs> It's not fun going live. And so I don't know. I watch Jessica all the time um, going live and like she does so well with it. And like I don't. I even like was going through watching people before. I, like because I kept like psyching myself out and like going to press it and not. And so I'm like well let me go into the lives and watch people and like maybe that will build my confidence. And it did not. Um, it did not. What I did during it is I did a packing video. Um, I think I packed up three orders or something. And so I was still doing something which helped preoccupy me. Um, but what I failed to do is actually interact with anyone. I was just talking like I am to you guys right now. Like, let's say we were live right now. That's what this is exactly what it was like. Um, and I should have done is like ask people, like get them to kind of comment and like say what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And I was so nervous. I did not, I did not like, when I was on there, the only thing you think about is how do I get off of here? <laughs> Let me off of here. <laughs> um, and when I finished packing, I immediately, like, no hesitation. I was like, okay, well, I have to go. Um, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> like immediately clicked off. Like there was no transition. <laughs> so to say it was a success would be an overstatement. But the success is that I did it. And I will do it again. And I'm sure it will be easier next time. I actually have a stack of orders where I could do it. Um, so maybe I will do that after this. And maybe I won't. Probably not. I have so much to do. And going live just is going to add to my stress. So. <sighs> we have an XL. Kim, there's people that are dying. Cute. Okay. All right. All righty. I need to pack more stuff. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, oh, I got a Delaware order. So I think I told you guys on my, let me just show you. 
I went live for the first time on TikTok and I have to tag him. I don't have prices. I think I might do another. I did this last time. That's why I'm not bringing my new stuff is um, because it's so hot. I did a sale on the sweatshirts of being like, um, they're all $29. So I might just do that again tomorrow. And then I don't actually have to price these and hopefully they just sell. I don't know. Is that smart? I don't know. I'd only price this a dollar or more anyways if I were to price it, you know? Like I'd put this at 30. Okay, so this is my orders map and we are so close to finishing it. And I don't have Delaware and I know I've had a Delaware order before. I just couldn't find it. So I'm like, I can't just pretend I've had one if I haven't had one, um, even if I know I've had one. Um, but we finally got another one. And so I'm gonna do a packing video for this person. And then all we have left is South Dakota, Idaho, and Alaska. Lots impressive. We are not even a year in, almost a year in. I think in a few days is my one year anniversary. Yeah. yeah, 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 I think like August 8th is like when I actually went live. I started like prepping everything in July um, of last year, but I think August was my actual um, date. And I think it took until October to get a sale. <laughs> say <laughs> this is good <laughs> anyways thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for the market vlog so please subscribe if you're not already it helps my channel out so much give it a thumbs up comment talk to me and tell me your Olympic dreams <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow Ooh, bye I just need